Hello everyone, myself Akkit Shivare and today we are going to discuss problem session 6. So, problem here is, it's the same as problem session 5 but we have, W value is reduced in this case and we have been asked to calculate all the 4 things that we have done. So, you don't need to get back to the previous problem, I will be discussing what are the 4 things that we need to solve. So, in the first part, it has been asked, there is, what is the overdrive voltage? Overdrive voltage of M1 and M2 transistor. So we know overdrive voltage equation and you have been given ISS is 1 mA, W value is 50 okay, of all the transistors. So overdrive voltage of uh, this differential pair, this is M1 and M2, will be what? VGS minus VTH that is given by under root of 2 ID by beta. So ID is given to be, one mA, ISS is 1 mA, so 0.5 mA will be from this, 0.5 mA will be from this. So ID will be, ID1 and ID2 will be 0.5 mA by 2. Okay. So this will be 0.5 mA because I said 1 mA. Okay? So when you solve it and beta you always remember for all the problems we will be using the same thing that mu and is 0.134 mA, W value is 50. So you will get V overdrive is 0.3864 volts. So in the previous problem the overdrive that we got was 0.273 volts. So what we are seeing here is if suppose W value is reduced then definitely overdrive is increased. To put up the same current okay so remember this thing so if suppose this is the same current that is it has to pass 0.5 mA here you have reduced W by L, definitely this this overdrive voltage that is required will be more okay second part of the question was if suppose delta V in that is V in 1 minus V in 2 is given to be 50 millivolts what will be the change in current in both the ends so in the earlier problem session 5 we have derived the formula so I am not going to derive it again so the delta id is given by 1 by 2 beta delta v under root of 4 ISS per beta minus delta v whole square so this is the formula you have been given 50 millivolt delta v you know beta you know ISS okay so you can solve this equation and you can get finally that delta id change is 0.129 milliampere now what is id1 and id2 in that case that is what ISS by 2 plus the change divided by 2 okay so ISS by 2 plus delta ID by 2 and since the uh, V in 2 is less compared to V in 1 so the current will here also be less okay so 0.5 milli minus delta ID by 2 so when you solve it you get currents in both the ends that comes out to be 0.56 milli milliampere and in the other end is 0.435 milliamperes in the last problem we have got this value is 0.591 and this value was 0.409 so what we are seeing is the current change is less compared to the previous case. So W value reduces, the overdrive has to increase but the change that current will be occurred for the same delta V in change will be less compared to the previous problem. Okay, So W value reduces, the change in current will be less. Okay. Now third problem is what is the transconductance of the circuit. So in the last case session again we have derived the formula so we are not going to derive it again. So GM is delta of delta ID by delta of delta V in. So this is the transconductance of the entire circuit. Okay. So when you solve it, you get it 1 by 2 beta 4 S by beta minus 2 delta V in whole square whole divided by 4 ISS by beta minus delta V in whole square. So we know beta, we know ISS, we know delta V in change. So we can calculate transconductance of the circuit. So we get is 2.57 milliohm inverse. In the last problem, we got was 3.61. So we can see that the transconductance has reduced. So W by L of the differential pair reduces, the transconductance of the entire circuit also reduces. Okay. For the fourth case, the problem was when GM is dropped by 10%, what is the change in the delta V in? Okay. So GM is fixed now. You have been asked that how much you can change in the input end. Okay. So the formula that we derived earlier was delta V in square was 4A minus B minus under root of 8ab plus b square whole divided by 8. So a is 4 as per beta, b is gm by beta by 2 whole square. So gm1 because it has to drop by 10% it will be 0.9 of gm that we got. So for this case when you substitute value here because we know ss, we know beta, we know gm, we know beta by 2. So we can definitely easily solve this equation and delta v is 197 millivolts. So what we are seeing here is that it can support in the last problem, in the problem session 5, this delta V in was coming out to be 139 millivolts and here it is 197. So it can support a wide range of delta V in okay, for the same GM. 
and if suppose GM is to drop by 90%, then delta V in come out to be 526 milli 526 millivolts, and earlier it was 372 millivolts. So GM change will be same, but the delta V that is required to put up the same change will be more here. Okay, so in a way it can have a higher linear range. So we can see from this curve delta D or delta V in. So in the purple color that we have, the purple color that we have here. You can see the transcurrence is more for the purple case that is W by L2, okay, and but the swing, the delta V in change that is required will be also less. And for the same GM, if suppose uh, we have we have this range, so then this will support a wider range. Okay, so GM is reduced, but it is supporting the higher range. Okay, so we can see from these curves. So these are the conclusions. So W bar reduces, V overdrive increases, GM decreases. The de for the same delta V in fixed change, the delta ID change will be less. Also, it will support wider linear range. So more delta V you need to have for the for more delta V you will be getting. Okay, so more delta V you will be required for the drop in transcendence. So this is all for this problem section six. We'll be continuing with the next problems. Thank you.